<laughs> Artist Richard Prince is well known in the art world for taking other people's work, making it his own with a few changes and then selling it for piles of money. But his latest project has caused a little more controversy than normal. He's selling other people's Instagram photos for up to $100,000 each. And, uh, lawyer Paul Brennan joins us now from Queensland Sunshine Coast to discuss. Good morning to you, Paul. Hi, Andrew. Um, now, as I understand it, you know, a, a photograph uh, is, is immediately um, the property of the photographer in terms of copyright, but can we then say that this has been transformed into a work of art simply by adding those small comments? Well, the law does protect it. It's the law of copyright. As soon as you press that button, your photos, doesn't matter how lousy the photographs are, uh, they are protected by the law of copyright. But there are some exceptions to that. And uh, if you uh, uh, have a person in America who downloads it and, uh, and puts it uh, into an artistic work, as in this case, then uh, American law has this concept of fair use. Yeah, well, we have the concept of fair use as well for, you know, for media reportage or for parody or satire, don't we? Well, we do. In fact, we call it fair dealing. I don't mm. know if that makes much difference, but we, uh, we have a much narrower interpretation and there's certain categories, such as reporting news such as this, uh, you're quite safe. Uh, students and uh, uh, people who do research to a certain extent are quite safe, yeah. parody and satire. So, so we have set categories. In America, it's much more touchy-feely. What's that? Yeah, well, just very quickly, but does Instagram itself, does the contract of the Instagram user say anything about who owns the photograph? Because, you know, Facebook owns all the information on Facebook, for example. Well, no, in the Instagram terms and conditions, they do say that if you come on our site, you use it, then you're subject to our terms, but it doesn't stop you suing someone else for infringement. Ah, OK. Ah, it's all very interesting. As the byline says, it's murky, Paul. Thank you very much for that. You're very welcome.